Shil wam when the start of Zuzba giving all praise to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shabbos Hashem Kadosh. The Balanos the Apostle Great Most and honors you brothers doing work the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the word ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh. His real name is Yahweh. And some true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray for Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba meaning in having done Sham meaning names Yahweh the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick, I had some interesting stuff that um, a number of people in relation to this eclipse yesterday were basically pointing out. A lot of people were just like, yo, isn't it a great coincidence, etc., etc., etc. But of course, we know that there are no such things as coincidences. And that, in fact, this is just the major, uh, you know, the perfect design of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And this is why the sun and moon are the same size in the sky. Right. And you see here, according to what Esau says, says the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon but it also uh, about 400 times further from the earth right of course four you know being you know being a, a, a you know a, a, a special uh, number right um but because our thing is like i never actually observed that they do actually are do appear as the the, the, the same size um but of course when you consider what an eclipse is that's exactly what you're seeing okay and that's why um you know it it, it is uh, such a what's the word I'm looking for it is such a spectacle if you will okay now we understand that these things happen and these things are signs in the heavens right these are the signs of, of, of things to come omens okay you know that the Lord uh, you know said that we would see before you know uh, you know as, as, as basically as signs of, of times to come right um and when it looks when you look at like different planets and in and, and the you know so-called solar system whatever what have you right you know they say you know you do have others that you that get uh, uh, you know full total eclipses um but that's you know you don't really get it in the same way that you have on on on, on earth where it is just like this perfect overlap if you will right you get others where it's like so much bigger etc etc you know it's just all, all, all this stuff that he saw reports right but people call this a coincidence but it's not okay it you know it's just once again proving that these bodies in the heaven uh you know serve a particular purpose right this is genesis 1 uh, 14 it says and the most i said let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years Right, and that's one of the things that we're um, uh, focusing on the fact that this is a sign, it's a major sign of things to come. Right, you know, 4 8, right? you had the 4 8, you know, magnitude earthquake the other day as well. Right, and loads of different, you know, things happening um, all over the world. Right, because it, this is it, this on its own is one thing, but it's the fact that all of these things are happening all at the same time. Right, real quick, is second measure is nine. Uh, from the top says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass where uh, which i have told thee before right and and how must we always go into how do we measure the time right you know we've got all of these different prophecies right and then from how many are elapsing all at the same time we're basically able to be like yo okay cool this is a sign right that this is all uh, uh you know coming um, rather, this this is a sign that we're nearing the end, right? He says, "Then shall that understand that it's the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right?" So we come back here, right? So it's just one fourteen again. It says, "And the Most High said, uh, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, um, uh, and let them be for signs of a season of days and years. So let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And the Most High made." Uh, rather the powers right uh, because when you look into it it was uh yahweh shine the angels that made uh the heavens right and the earth and everything right yahweh's name doesn't really come in or not doesn't come in to the scriptures until uh, genesis 2 but it was yahweh that gave the blueprint right yahweh shai is the one uh that you know that that yahweh shai is the one that you know of the angels basically made made everything right uh, i'm just trying to remember where that is This is Ephesians 5 uh, from uh, 13. It says, oh, wait, that's not what I want. That's Ephesians or Colossians uh, made by him. Is it Colossians? 
items maybe. Uh, Salak here. Bear with me. Just look for it on another screen one second. Shorts and Colossians one sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colossians 1, um, 16, so fire, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Well, so I was using the word made instead of created, which is why I wasn't finding anything. All right, but that's the point, all right? Yeah, Osha is the one uh, with the angels, all right, uh, that made everything, okay? Uh, so let me read that again. It says, and, and, and the powers, right, made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, right? Once again, all these things uh, we use as signs, right? Issachar, Issachar were, you know, uh, uh, men that were able to read the signs and to be able to make sense of that's in, all right, it's in Chronicles somewhere, but I forget exactly where. Um, let me see if I can find that as well. Um, Times, I know time. I mean, that's going to give me loads of results. Is it like Chronicles 12 or something? Yeah, here we go. Right, it says, um, First Chronicles 12 32, and the children of Issachar, which were men that had an understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, and, and what is that going into, but looking into the heavens. Right. And, you know, being able to be like, OK, cool. This is these are the signs that we're, you know, that we're having. But looking into heavens uh, righteously. Right? Um, but it says uh, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment. Right. So uh, next priest, this is uh, Sirach 43 and 6. He made the moon also to serve in a season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. Once again, that was a major sign of the world and the things that are, that are you know that are there to come right um it goes on to say for the moon is a sign of feast a light that decreaseth in our perfection the month uh which I, what i find very interesting um is that um uh, uh, the word month right in a lot of languages basically is the same as the word you know uh, moon in that same language You've got loony uh in um uh, in spanish Right, uh, no, that's Romanian. Lun, lu, lu, I think it's Luna in Spanish, Luni in Romanian, um, uh, Wall in, 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 in Korean. Okay, so you know, once again, just, just, just as a uh, you know, I find it very interesting, right? It says the month is called after her own, uh, after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument, um, uh. Of the armies above shining in the, the firmament of heaven. Right in the last precept, this is Joel 2 30 and 31. It says, And I'll show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Right, uh, the sun shall be turned to darkness, the moon into blood, right, before the great and terrible day of Yahweh come. Right, so once again, signs in the heavens as signs of things to come. Right, um, so. As always, you know, Lord's will, uh, that was edifying. Until next time we say, Shalom.